Good morning. It's 6.30. Sunday morning. See, I did have a sleep in. I woke up at 5.45 and I went back to bed. <laughs> it's kind of misty out this morning. It's been spitting since, well, when I got up at 3.30 and when I got up at 5.45, it was spitting. I'm going to start uh, slowly packing up and I moved my stuff under the tree over by the tent so that I could make breakfast under there and not get wet, but again, it's just really lightly spitting and it's really warm out, so not really too bad. The reason I want to head out a bit early today is um, because I have to cross some big water. I have uh, the 300 meter portage or 400, whatever it is, into Thunderhead and then a 300 meter out into the big water. Um, and then from there I have a 400 meter in between, like it's almost like through an island. And then I have to go up through um, Sandy Bay Inlet, and that's probably about uh, eight kilometers of paddling, um, plus the portaging. All right, so for this morning's breakfast, I got something a little different. I have a wrap. I'm going to um, fry up this egg in the pan. It's ready to go. It just has some butter in it. Just turn on the stove. And I've got some cheese, a little bit of ketchup, and some bacon to mix with it. So that's all going to get in there and go in there and then get rolled up into a nice little wrap. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. And just scrambled the egg up a little bit. We made it about the size of the wrap. It's a little bit smaller. So I just smeared some ketchup on the wrap and I'm going to put all this stuff in there. And just roll it all up and uh, I'm good to go. Well, it's 8 o'clock. <laughs> And I'm just getting ready to leave my site. <laughs> Had some privy problems this morning, so um, got a little bit delayed, but what are you gonna do? Just a very short paddle through Virginia to the portage. All right, I've arrived at my first portage of the day, 400 meters into Thunderhead. Well, that uh, portage took me about 12 minutes. Here, I'll show you some of the trail while I'm walking back. Um, just in comparison, it takes me about 10 minutes to do a 500 meter, and this is supposed to be a 400 meter, uh, or on Jeff's map, a 375, so, uh, I don't know. Yeah, but, uh, I would say it's more like a 600 meter. <laughs> um, there's a lot of, uh, bushy areas, as you can see and uh, very narrow pass. My shins and legs are once again taking a beating, getting smacked by all these branches and stuff as I walk through. And I don't think a lot of people use this trail uh, or the, I wanna say the proper word for it, nostogun is the word. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right. I'm doing my best. Um, the Nostoggin have been in use for thousands of years continuously. And uh, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> like, uh, oh, there's my bag. Super excited. That's a quick one. Yay! Well, I finally made it to Thunderhead. <laughs> um, I don't know. That portage wasn't hard, but it was challenging, and uh, I, I don't know if I could have made it yesterday. I really don't. Oh, the lambs are back. I miss them. He's got a little baby with him. Or her. It's a distress signal. I better get out of here. So quiet. Oh, I don't see the portage sign. It's got to be here somewhere. All right. I think I'm going up there. Well, I was a little off on that one. I went over here. I went up and there was nothing. It's actually over there. Okay. <laughs> well, I am on the 300 meter portage from Thunderhead into Sharp Rock Inlet. Um, 
Looks pretty decent so far, just getting the, the legs and the shins scratched with branches again. Ow! Like last time. Oh, some of these little buggers are sharp. Even though these portages are um, not ow, ultimate, they're not flat, wide little roads. They've got sticks all over them and branches crossing them and bushes. And uh, some of them are tough, but I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the remote and the challenge of this place. And I'm really glad that Kevin Callen suggested this loop to me. And uh, very grateful for all the help from Tierney um, and the Friends of Tomogamy for all their input into uh, the planning of this trip. It really helped a lot. Thanks guys and uh, hopefully I'm almost at the end. Alright, I'm at the end already. This is a nice one. Didn't take me very long. Only uh, 25 minutes to do all three. Well, I didn't say three, I say the canoe, the walk back, and the bag. I'm not sure if I can get through here. <laughs> Got a tree behind me and a tree in front of me. Whew. There we go. I'm back on the big water. And I'm sure I'm going to see some people soon. Because I haven't seen anybody in a while. Which has been awesome. Alright, i got to put the canoe down. Bye. Alright, I have just gotten on the water. On Rock Inlet. And I am paddling east. My time out here has been very great. Uh, the water is super calm. There is next to no wind. And I'm just flying across the water here. It's great. I am entering an area now called the Lower Narrows. And uh, according to the area on, arrow on the map, I'm doing it in the wrong direction. But I don't really have a choice. I didn't want to go all the way back up to do the... 700 meter portage I did on Friday, so. Paddling through here, just thinking really light thoughts, hoping I can get through without getting stuck on a rock. There, It's so shallow here, but it's really, really, really pretty. It's really dark and dreary in the pictures, but it's so nice out right now. It's so calm and it's just beautiful, warm. A double pass by into the spot where the portage is supposed to be into Pickerel Bay and I can't find it. Um, I'm just going to go exactly where the GPS is showing me it is and hope there's a trail behind here. There's no trail tape, there's nothing, there's no signs. My last portage. <laughs> I can't find a trail anywhere. I'm not sure what the situation is but it's on my GPS, and it's on the map, so I just thought, okay, well, maybe a tree fell down, and you can't see the marker, but oh, it's got to be here somewhere. I want to go all the way back up and around. It's going to take forever. Come on. Where are you? Hi, Chippy. Show me where the trail is, Chippy. <sighs> Crap. <laughs> like, where is it? Well, <laughs> this kind of sucks. It's 10.30, I'm making really good time. And um, there's no portage here, I can't find it. Even if I could make a trail the trees are so thick, I could never even get the canoe through there. Like, I can't even get it between the trees. So, I'm going to have to paddle up to the 755 meter portage that I did on Friday. And uh, do that one into Sandy Inlet. Um, I tried. I walked, like, for five minutes in each direction. I'm exactly where the entry should be. And I even walked up, like, through the bush so I could see, like, well, maybe if a tree fell down, like... So I could see that where the trail went on further, but there's nothing. Like, look at this. The canoe's not going to fit through any of those trees. So I'm going to stop wasting time and uh, 
I just have to paddle up to the 755 meter portage and um, go that way. I was really looking forward to going back a different way, but I don't, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do, so off I go, I guess. Okay, well, I haven't given up yet. I just went down the wrong way just to see, make sure, because it's not where the GPS says it is, but just to see if there was anything, and it looks like there's an opening here. Um, again, no trail markers or anything, but I'm just going to get out and go look. Well, I did find a trail. It probably used to be the portage, but uh, I walked it for about five minutes, and then I couldn't find it and lost it, and it's really, really thick bush. Um, again, there's spots where I probably can't get the canoe through. Um, and if I can, it's just, it's just too thick. I don't know. I tried. I tried really hard. Uh, I don't like being lost. I don't want to go get my stuff and start walking through the forest and then not know where I'm going. I mean, yeah, I have the GPS and I could find my way, but the forest is so thick here. There's just no, there's no way through. So, off I go. <laughs> Well, I've reached the portage from Whitefish Bay into Ferguson Bay, which will take me to Sandy Inlet. Uh, 800 meter portage, and then um, I've got about just over two and a half kilometers to paddle to get to the beach where uh, the 300 meter portage is to go to my car. So uh, it only took me about 40 minutes to paddle, four kilometers, so. I think the wind was a little bit behind me. It's kind of diagonal, so that was nice. That was a nice little bonus. Anyways, there's the portage. Oh yeah, I remember you. <laughs> You're going down big hills. I don't like going up them either, but I think I don't like going down them more. My knee is getting really bad. Every step I take is like a pang of pain. Ugh. Hate it. All right, well, it's 12.20, and uh, I finished that portage. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't as bad as I remembered it. There's just two bad spots. One is like up uphill, and the other one is like rock, rocks, rocks everywhere. All right, I'm just paddling through uh, Ferguson Bay. I'm about uh, half the way to the takeout. Going pretty quick here. Well, I made it. Why am I tired? <laughs> Uh, still one portage to do. Hey, well, I've just arrived at the takeout. Um, I am at the Sandy Inlet portage to the parking lot, and I've just finished my first loop in Tomogamy. Um, if I had to describe the trip in one word, it would probably be challenging. Um, if I got two, it would be awesome and challenging. Um, it was a really great trip. Uh, it was very challenging right from the start with having the highway closed and taking the extra uh, two hours to get here, getting lost on my way in, doing the portage in the dark, setting up in the dark on the beach to, um, you know, the issues with just now, uh, a few hours ago, uh, going to do the last portage besides this one and finding out that there's no portage um, and then having to go all the way around. That's the kind of stuff that happens, you know, and um, the portages mostly were challenging, uh, a lot of them. Um, different, it was a different challenging trip than like my Algonquin five day last year, um, you know, where I had challenges with wind and weather in Killarney and Algonquin and, you know, uh, rain and that kind of stuff. Um, I didn't have the weather challenges. I had different challenges this time. Portages that were, weren't like, that aren't maintained very well. So they're very um, overgrown, stuff like that. Uh, lots of rocks on some of them. Um, you know, the one yesterday that was like this. Um, Spirit Rock, amazing. Uh, wow. Going to Spirit Rock was awesome yesterday. Um, I don't know why I'm getting emotional. I was like this when I was there yesterday. 
it was unbelievable to be there there was just there's just something so powerful about that area and being there um, I don't know what it was but um, I still feel it <laughs> um, so um, I'm gonna close this off because um, I don't want to stand here and go on and on and on I want to get my canoe to the car and get my bag to the car uh, the trips are getting harder and harder as I go on and I'm really enjoying challenging myself more and more just pushing the boundaries and going and doing as much as I can as far as I can and going to places where no one else is and uh, that's the backcountry to me and I just love it awesome trip Tomogamy is amazing if you get a chance to go go thanks to Tierney for all your advice and help and thanks to Kevin for suggesting the loop and um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So you get the gist of it anyway.